We'll find you a way home, Miles. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood hero of New York turned Avenger. You have been chosen. You're an Avenger? Yeah, um, hey, hey man, I don't think you're supposed to be here and Sony had us sign a lot of NDAs. Is he okay? I am not in your human NBA. I do not take part in such sports. Toby Maguire, also Oh no, Peter no, Parker. no, man. Hey everyone, it's Ross here, finally back on MGF Customs for a brand new double review on two pad printed custom LEGO Spider-Man minifigures once again by Phoenix Customs. And these two minifigures are some of the best Spider-Man minifigs to have ever graced the market. I mean, this Iron Spider really is just pretty much unprecedented and one of the best minifigures I have ever had in my collection. And not to mention, of course, Miles Morales back here as well from Into the Spider-Man. Spider-Verse. There's so much you can't see in just this frame. So many great design works and things to talk about, including alternate heads. So I hope you'll stick around for the whole video and let me know if you do by dropping the video a like below so I can justify its existence to the algorithm. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we go with Iron Spider, or of course, uh, to avoid copyright, the Iron Arachnid suit. And I really mean it when I say this is one of the best minifigures I've ever had in my collection for a variety of reasons. Not only is this minifigure fully pad printed, just like official Lego, as always with Phoenix Customs, but in this case, Adam actually went out of his way, I guess, through another party to have these parts actually sealed over and I guess sprayed over or something in a really incredible shiny finish and that goes all over the entire minifigure on every side of it and it is so impressive it looks amazing and especially under these lights it is like a miniaturized hot toys figure and those are the highest end collectibles that you can buy I had the hot toys iron spider for about a year and this is literally a miniaturized version it is so impressive what Adam was able to achieve with these outsourced processes I I can't believe that it culminated so so well after a lengthy but definitely worth it production time you can see the design work that Adam did wrapping all around the figures legs here and even the arm printing it is just all spectacular and I think a lot of it is really self-explanatory though I still want to make sure you get a good look at just everything that is offered here it is phenomenal and so are these custom gauntlets which are separate separate pieces injected for this minifigure's wrists. I mean, I cannot believe how incredible this figure is as the full definitive Iron Spider package. And just to kind of compare with you and show you how far Adam has come with the ability to be able to make figures like this, this was the Iron Spider that he released, I think closer to Infinity War um, back in like 2018 or 19. And it is just night and day. This was still really good. And I do still really love this figure as well. I'm thinking about doing a separate Iron Spider comparison video because obviously I could also bring in my own custom Iron Spider from back in 2018 that I hand painted which is looking increasingly worse with figures like this now but um, you know also Lego's Iron Spider is drastically different from this. This is just an incredible high-end you know collector's item minifigure that you really can't get so easily anymore because the pre-order window opened and closed back in January of this year and this is not even the end of it included with the iron arachnid as well if we go ahead and remove this head and I mean when I got this figure I was just really nervous like oh my gosh I'm gonna damage the finish on this so so fast and really that's not the case this finish holds up incredibly well that's why I was so quick to say that it's really durable and you can see this is the instant kill alternative expression alternative mask design with those little red lights in the lenses and that is just so so cool and definitely tops off this minifigure I think I absolutely love that the main one just totally rolled off onto the floor but we got it 
Included as well is an alternate Tom Holland head and you get the hair piece here too. And I think this face design is actually a little bit better than the previous MCU Spider-Man that Phoenix had printed. And this gets just a little bit closer to Tom Holland's likeness. And of course, again, pad printed just like official Lego and a hell of a lot better than the ones that they offer in the official sets. Flipping it around, you can see we also have, I guess, either the I don't feel so good, Peter getting erased from existence facial expression or crying over the death of Tony Stark. Take it however you wish to interpret it. I'll have to ask Adam separately on Instagram, but this is another great face design with that little teardrop part of it too. This Iron Spider really is the full package, even tugging at the heartstrings. And of course, Miles Morales from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. And here we have Miles, or again, to avoid copyright, Iraq Kid, recreated in Lego, once again, utilizing pad printing to its fullest on a Lego minifigure. And while Miles may not need a shiny finish going all over the entire minifigure, you have some incredibly impressive design work that still does make its way around most sides of this particular minifigure and I just really love how Adam was able to capture these designs and all of the webbing but additionally the texture and the mesh running throughout all the different designs. It's just so cool. Of course, Miles is using a pair of mid legs instead because he is much shorter, as you guys know, and I really love how that's portrayed here. And I think that these hands are still being outsourced to Victor at Eclipse Graphics with the red fingertips there, and those are pad printed as well. And yeah, to just really focus in on the mask though, I think that is just so cool because when you're really kind of distinguishing between Miles Morales iterations, the mask to me is always the standout whether it's the Into the Spider-Verse more cartoony look that has been captured here on the Lego minifigure head or like say the more red lenses from the actual PS5 game it really depends but I really love how this was all captured here and again the texturing and the mesh design as it appears all throughout the minifigures printing work it, it's just so cool man but to go ahead and remove this head so we can get a better look at the alternative head that is included Included with the minifigure we have Miles likeness but not the cartoon likeness of course this is the Lego stylized version of his likeness recreated in Lego here and if we go ahead and put the hair piece on which is also included you can see it perfectly captures this iteration of the character got a little bit of a smudge on the head there not sure what that's about I'll have to try to remove that after the video if it does come off but regardless we'll go ahead and flip the face around because of course there is an alternative facial expression and this is Miles' more surprised look, which we saw quite a few times throughout the movie, and I think that is also perfectly captured here. And even though, of course, this minifigure is not mass-produced like official minifigures, one thing that I actually found somewhat refreshing about him is that you have the seamless shoulder pad printing, which you did not see on uh, Monica Rambeau here, who was a little bit out of frame there. Um, but, you know, you had the really messy mass-produced shoulder printing for Monica Rambeau from WandaVision in the recent Marvel. Marvel CMF series, whereas here on a much smaller scale with this high end custom Lego minifigure, you've got seamless pad printed shoulders. And so it just kind of goes to show that it is possible. Of course, if you're only making like a hundred or so of the minifigure, but I'm going to go ahead and flip the face back around because additionally, we get this little ski cap that of course is meant to look like the actual Spider-Man mask sort of just, you know, folded back a bit as it appeared in the actual movie, but you have the mask printed on there as well which just makes for the perfect accessory and also kind of the perfect iconic look for Miles. You have all of Miles iconic looks from the movie captured in this minifigure and again Spider-Verse is my favorite Spider-Man movie ever so this minifigure really was absolutely not even a question. I had to have it and it really has delivered. There's just been so much to unpack here. Hopefully I kind of covered it all. Again I'm just really glad that I was able to share Share these minifigures with you even though they're really kind of difficult to get now in the aftermarket but you can always message Adam or check out his retailers which he has listed on his website which I think might still be there right now even though he's got the store kind of closed for the summer if I'm not mistaken but there are still opportunities to get these after the fact if you really pay attention to those resellers
resellers and just kind of keep your ear to the ground and monitor to see if any become available at any point and then you can jump on it usually for a much higher price but these minifigures really are worth it but anyway let's go ahead and start to wrap up this review on two of the best custom lego spider-man minifigures ever produced all right, everyone, there you go. That's going to do it for this Phoenix Customs review. Always a pleasure to review any of Adam's minifigures. And that's not a sponsored message or anything. I did purchase these minifigures, of course. I just genuinely mean it. These are the highest quality custom printed minifigures that you can find in the online Lego customizing market. And so with all of that, let me know what you think down in the comments, because I know these really are not for everyone, even though they are really cool. They are collector's items, as we've kind of previously established. And so it's just really cool to be able to share these with you guys regardless as many figures like this iron arachnid make me obsolete but that's okay as i've got plenty of other lego star wars customs on the way in the form of the mandalorian season two of course the project i've been working on all year long but it's finally beginning to culminate now as i pretty much have everyone done except for a couple half custom mandalorians for bo katan i just posted this luke skywalker poster as well which i'm really happy with and the progress has always been hitting patreon early if you guys would like to consider supporting the channel that way no obligation though there at all of course and i will see you guys next time probably with a comparison video comparing iron spiders let me know if you want to see that uh, again down in the comments anyway take care everyone and as always keep creating bye bye <laughs>Hey everyone, it's Ross here, finally back on MGF Customs with a brand new double review on two new custom LEGO Spider-Man minifigures. <sighs> I really gotta take a breath sometimes before these takes.